It's really interesting because, again, not from my perspective, from talking to so many near-death experiencers, uh, a lot of the things that you've said are very in tune with what I've heard before. Yours is interesting because your after effects were heightened to a very high level. I've heard of other high, and I've heard of other people who've like always had paranormal issues or or psychic abilities or things were dormant. Or they're like, you know, I always saw I saw grandpa at the edge of my bed when I was five. You had none of this, and you had no training whatsoever. You your family wasn't into this stuff, so you truly were you know, out at sea without a paddle, like you were just floating out there. And then all of this stuff happened. And you just, again, the word process is the, is the thing psychologically and physically process what was happening to you. It's, it's a pretty interesting thing. So, okay. So we've, we've gone through the dark night of the soul. <laughs> if you will, you've kind of gone through, you know, the battle you've come out on the other side now. What are you doing with these abilities now? What What is the work you're doing to help the world at this point? I do energy work. I'm full, a full-time healer. And um, I, part of what I see is I see everyone's potential, um, which Ooh. is really, you know, the true self your original blueprint before life and trauma and conditioning and all that happened. And I take you from here to there and it's all with energy work and, um, you know, talking about spiritual ideas and principles and working through traumas, healing traumas um, to connect this gap. So everybody can feel flow state really all the time and feel almost like they're in a meditative state all the time Mm. and to feel that peace. And I am grateful that the sensitivity is so pronounced because I don't think I could do this work without it. And I'm also very grateful that I've learned that when I'm off the clock or when I'm busy doing something with my daughter or trying to do, you know, really human things that I can tune it out now. Um, but I. No, I was going to say, I was going to say, it just reminds me of, you know, not to make this juvenile, but it reminds me of a superhero who all of a sudden has these uh, new abilities that have to deal with and how to control them. Because if not, it could destroy them. It really could literally destroy them. And again, not trying to compare you to a Marvel superhero by any stretch of the imagination. No. <laughs> but that, but that, but that kind of analogy, it kind of makes sense. Cause I mean, I've seen enough movies in my day that there are these when they have abilities they just can't deal with. They just if they don't learn how to hone them, it could be very detrimental to the person who has them, correct? It take you down. It could take Quickly. you down. Very quickly. Yeah. If I, I'm very fortunate to have a curious personality. Mm -hmm. And so I had the motivation to Google and, um, otherwise if I had just sat there, I mean, who knows what would have happened to me? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, and it is a different lifestyle too. Mm. I wouldn't say it's a normal way of living. It is a more solitary lifestyle. I need a great deal of quiet in my world to stay sane. Um, and you know, I've had to adjust my life too. And it, and it's, I fought that for a while, but I'm good with it now, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a whole new way of doing things that needed a massive amount of adjusting what is the biggest takeaway you, you, uh, you had from this near death experience? There are two, I would say the biggest takeaway is the amount of love that is there for us. Um, 
we are so loved. We, and we are seen, you know, I wasn't just, I realized I wasn't, wasn't just seen during my NDE. I've been seen my whole life and I was loved my whole life too. And so we are all loved that way. We are all seen for who we are and what we're doing for better or for worse in that moment. And it's just deep, true, unconditional love. And the second biggest takeaway is, and this one's layered, that peace is available to us. Um, we just have to get there. And that's, you know, that's kind of like, what's the meaning of life? We're here to learn. We're here to heal our traumas. We're here to strip away our indoctrination or conditioning that we got the first part of our lives and return to our true selves because that's where that peace is. And so we feel separate from that love and from that peace, but we're not, we're not at all separate. Just things have happened to us that have created these blocks. And so it's there. It's just journeying, you know, healing and journeying to return to that. To watch the full video, click on the link below and don't forget to subscribe.